Hey everyone, this is Arthur Luciaga again with Good Times Radio TV. We're here with Julie and Trisha again with Youth Encounter. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, the teams and how you get involved with the teams and what you do you know, in your team? Great. Um, I started out on a team not knowing too much about it, although I um, had had uh, different teams, captive free teams they're called, um, come to my church every year for their vacation Bible school. So they come for a week and hang out with the kids there. Um, and I thought that it was a really great ministry, so I decided I would um, apply um, online at youthencounter.org. Um, and I was accepted in. And um, I was accepted onto a captive free team, which is a national team. Um, and I was specifically in the East Lakes region, so I traveled to 16 different states. Mm -hmm. um, and um, I played music, and we went to different um, schools and detention centers and churches um, all over the country. Um, and not only did we do um, musical ministry, we also uh, did skits and puppet shows and we would help out with pretty much anything that churches could throw at us. So uh, we would um, help to make food for um, homeless shelters and um, help like go through donated clothes at different churches. So pretty much, pretty much any sort of volunteer work that we could do, we did. Definitely, definitely. And uh, is there any fun, interesting history, some cool facts about you? Think, you think? Yeah, well, it's great. Now, um, kind of every day, you could go to a different church and see a band on stage playing, like much like our captive free team. Um, but you know, 46 years ago when we started, it was kind of unheard of to have a drum set in a church. And um, Youth Encounter was one of the first organizations that actually brought youth um, in the church to perform for youth because before that, young people did not did not connect with the music that was there. They weren't able to engage. And now all of a sudden there's this style of music that actually appeals to youth and they wanted to come and they wanted more and wanted to get involved. So it was kind of crazy that just like the organs used to be forbidden and were in the saloons and bars only and just like the drum sets now, that's in church and um, is a way to glorify God. And so we're kind of looking at what's next. What's, you know, are we going to have rappers in churches and spoken word and art and drama and dancing? Like, I'm just excited for it, for what's next and what um, we keep bringing so that the limit of how to praise and worship God is not a limit at all, that we can just do it in any form um, in any way. So. Definitely. You get more people involved, the bigger the stronger, you know, the yeah. messages and people understand what's, you know, really out there. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Very good. Well, again, everyone, thank you for joining us. It's been Good Times Radio TV. I'm Arthur Luciaga. Thanks for watching, and we'll be coming at you soon with some more videos.